Hello! In this video we're going to look at a review exercise for Chapter 2, Probabilities Counting and Equally Likely Outcomes. This is something that you typically see in your first finite midterm um, at IU. IU. Um, I know for sure it's on the first midterm in M118. I'm pretty sure you'd see some of the stuff on the first or second midterm in D116. Um, and for sure in any finite math class, you've got to know this stuff. So let's go ahead and look at the problem I've chosen. Um, it's a slightly longer problem, um, but is really, really typical of what you're going to see. And I chose problem 25 um, on page 80. Wow, I'm totally on the wrong page. On page 83, 80, I have no idea where I am. Oh, 85. Hmm. Everybody kind of gets lost sometimes, right? And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to read off the problem. So let's go through that and uh, see what we get. So, there are 24 cans of cola in a cooler. Six are regular and the remainder are diet. In how many ways can you select each of the following? Three cans from the cooler, three regular colas, three diet colas, or three colas of which at least two are diet. So, let's go ahead and start by writing down what we know. Okay, so writing down what we know, we're reading the problem. We know that in problem 25, <laughs> we have 24 cans of soda. And I'm just going to call them soda because cola, I don't think we call things cola here in Indiana. I'm not sure. I think that's a regional thing. And out of that, we know that six of those are regular. And the rest of them are diet. And here's where we're going to do a little bit of sneaky math. They don't explicitly tell us how many are diet. But they do tell us that there are 24 total cans of soda and six of them are regular. So we know that that means 18 are diet. And this is one of the things that they're going to get you on the midterm. They're going to ask you a question and they're going to give you all the pieces, but they may not really tell you everything out. So if if you're not sure how many of something there are, or if it seems like it might be important, take a couple minutes, figure it out. Um, and so let's look at number prop number one. And let's see. We want to get three cans from the cooler. And so the first thing I'm going to tell you is that they're telling us that order doesn't matter. Um, the other thing I'm going to tell you is I'm not a super fan of this problem. When I first looked at it, I said, okay, there's six regular and 18 diet. Well, apparently they're all different kinds of sodas, or they're labeled. I'm not really sure. We're just going to go with it um, and pretend that somehow they're unique. Not really sure how that is. But order doesn't matter. So that tells us we're going to use a combination. Yep. So these are all just a bunch of combination problems. So from the first one, we want to choose three. So combination of 24 total, and we want to choose three. And so to do this, we're going to put our formula down. And if you don't remember your formula, make some flashcards, practice it, memorize this. And then when you sit down to do the test, the very first thing you should do is in the upper right hand corner, write down the formulas that you've memorized. That way in the middle of the test when you get a little a little freaked out, you're not totally at a blank. You know, I do that every time. I sit down and I say, you know what, I'm gonna look at a problem and my mind's gonna go blank, so I'm gonna write down all this stuff. So continuing on with the actual problem part of this video, sorry. Um, there's our formula with the numbers plugged in. And so I'm gonna go through this pretty fast. So that's 24 times 23 times 22. And uh, on this one, I'll do all of the steps. But on the other ones, I'm going to leave some of them up to you. So, and then 24 minus 3, that's 21 factorial times 3 factorial. So, uh, just so we have some different colors, 21 factorial, 21 factorial, cancel out. And that always happens on these problems. You should be seeing that pattern by now. Um, if you're not, do some more practice problems. It always cancels out. They always, always cancel out both permutations and combinations. So you want to keep that in mind. So then this turns into 24 times 23 times 22. And typically things that are not that cancel out. So um, once you get that canceled out, well, we can look and 3 times 2, well, both of those go into 24. And I'm going to do them a step at a time. So 3 goes into 24 eight times and 2 goes into 8 4 times. So what does that turn into? That turns into 4 times 23 times 22 and that equals 2024 and that's our answer for part A. 
So when we come back, I'm when we come back at the very end of the problem, I will go over how I went through each of these. But right now, we're just going to keep moving forward. Okay. So let's go to part B. What is part B? We want to choose just three regular colas. Well, this is really familiar, isn't it? We want the combination from there's six total regular colas, and we're going to choose three. Okay, well we can do that. Six factorial over six minus three factorial, three factorial, and I'm going to jump over that first canceling step because we know things are going to cancel. So we're going to get six times five times four. So those are the first. Here's my my trick to this. These are the first three things, right? One, two, three, and I know that everything else is going to be canceled out down here. If there were four, there'd be you know one, two, three, four. I know that that's how this cancels out, and hopefully that makes some sense. If it doesn't, leave a comment, and you know I'll try to do a video on how I quickly cancel those out. It's not as challenging as it appears, but if you're not comfortable with it, it can look pretty scary. So, and then at the bottom we have this three factorial, which turns into three times two, woo, times two times one. I always like to put my one in there, and then I'm just loving the cyan today. 3 times 2 cancels out with 6, right? We know that. And then you get 5 times 4, and that equals 20. And that is the answer for part B. So let's move on to part C. So what do they want in part C? I don't remember. They want 3 diet coals. So we're going to scroll over again, make some more room. So this one is really similar to the last one, right? It's another combination. And this time we're pulling it from the diet cola, so that's 18, choose 3, and uh, by this point the math should be looking pretty familiar, but we'll go, go ahead and do it, 18 factorial over 18 minus 3 factorial times 3 factorial, and that turns into 18 times 17 times 16 over 3 times 2 times 1, and you'll notice I skipped over a step where I'm canceling stuff out. Um, you should start seeing the pattern there. And then 3 goes into 18 6 times. Ooh, I want to do that in a different color so you can easily see it. 3 goes into 18 6 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times. And what do we get? We get 3 times 17 times 16, which equals 816. And that's our answer for part C. And part D is pretty much the, the big boy here. That's that's the hard part. So let's look at what part D is. And uh, I don't think it's going to be that bad, but let's check it out. So on this one, they want at least two diet colas out of a choice of three. And um, the easiest way to do this, so <coughs> we're only pulling three colas. They want at least two. We know that there are only going to be two different ways to do that, um, by which I mean you know, we could have, and I'm going to try to do it in colors, so I'm going to make diet blue. We could have two diets and one regular, or we could have one, two, three diets and no regular. There's no other way to do this, really. And uh, you may notice, if you're eagle-eyed, that we already did this part up here on part C. So we know that we've got a combination of 18, choose three, and this means we're choosing nothing but diet colas, or, and again, you know, I, I say this in every video, or means multiplication, or, wow, that was totally reversed, or means addition, or means addition, and means multiplication, so say your problems in English, and you're going to get your signs and, and what it should be, so we could either choose three diet colas, or we could choose two diet colas right? And uh, we may need to do one more part of this. I'm, I have to admit I'm kind of doing this one uh, off the cuff. So let me confirm with my notes. We might need to do... Yep, so we need to remember that when we choose this one, how many different ways are there to do just one regular cola? And so, you know, that is and, so we're choosing two diets and so that's a multiplication we're choosing from six we're choosing one okay and that's our formula 
right there. So I'm going to kind of break this one down because this is the tricky one. So we've in this one over here, we've chosen just three diets. And in this one over here, we chose first two diets, and then we chose one non-diet. This is a pretty typical problem. So let's go ahead and do the math, okay? So we already know choose 18 of 3, and we can just kind of cheat that one, uh, because that was part C. And they like to do this. They like to give you problems that you know part of them. And then choose 18 of 2, so that's, what is that, 18 factorial um, over 18 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial times, right, 6 factorial over 6 minus 1 factorial times 1 factorial. And I put a little times in there because otherwise I get confused. So let's go ahead and move, keep on, keep on keeping on with this math. So we've got 816 plus 18 times 17 over 2 times 1. Again, I'm skipping over some steps, but you should be getting comfortable with that by now. And this one, so 6, I'm going to actually do this one all the way because this one is kind of rough. So I'm going to do 6 times 5 factorial over 5 factorial times 1 factorial. And you should notice, you know, pretty much right off the bat that this 5 factorial and this factorial. So anytime you do anything choose 1, it's pretty much just that number. That's that's the trick with those. So let's go ahead and uh, 816 plus, let's see, I could cancel some stuff out. Uh, we do, let's see, we can cancel 2, so that would be 9 times 17 times 6. And we do all that math, and that should be 1,734. And that seems about right. So that should be where you're at with this. Um, that is our answer. So let's go back and let's check everything out, and hopefully it will all make sense. Oops, not what I wanted. Totally the opposite of what I wanted. There we go. <coughs> so I'm going to use a nice bright pink or purple. There we go. So what did we do? Well, first we wrote down what we know. And one of the things that we know, we didn't get told. We just figured it out. And so we wrote down everything we know. At this step, if I were you, I would also write down my formula. I didn't do it here. But if you are at all not sure that you're going to remember it, write down your formula. So form eula. Right? So part A was asking how many different ways could we choose three sodas from a total of 24? We did that. We just plugged it in. Part B was asking how many different ways could we choose three sodas from the regular sodas, which is six. Part, let's see. Part C was asking how many different ways can we choose three sodas from the diet, which is 18, so we just plugged that in. And then part D was asking, how many different ways can we choose at least two diet sodas from the overall number of sodas? And uh, so we did. We broke it down into two problems. First, we figured out how many different ways can we pick just two diets. And so that's two diets and one regular, and that's what we did right here. And then we said, how many different ways can we pick all three diets? And we had already solved this one, but that's right here. Then we add those together because that's an or, right? And then we did the math. And that gave us the answer. So do some more practice before the midterm. That is really important in math classes. I don't think you're going to find it too bad. Um, this is the kind of problem you're going to see. Look for things that are combinations, permutations. Be really comfortable with those concepts, and you'll do a great job.